Welcome to our exploration of the potential of human pose estimation for sports motion capture. We take a deep dive regarding the accuracy of human pose estimation compared to traditional marker-based motion capture systems. Traditional kinematic analysis has relied heavily on marker-based motion capture systems such as Vicon and OptiTrack. While accurate, these systems are costly, complex and limited to controlled environments. Human pose estimation, on the other hand, offers several advantages. It's accessible, affordable and can be used outside of a laboratory setting. Popular models include OpenPose, the AR Kit and TensorFlow Pose Estimate. In a recent study, five participants performed eight athletic and nine sports movements. Their motions were captured using RGB cameras for pose estimation and infrared cameras for the marker-based system. Data was collected using 12 RGB cameras for pose estimation and 10 infrared cameras for the marker-based system. The joint angles were calculated and compared using mean absolute error. The mean errors for athletic movements were 9.7 degrees, with the highest errors observed in elbow joint angles. Errors were larger for complex movements, such as the 360-degree turn while spreading arms. For sports movements, the mean error was 9 degrees. The left elbow joint in the tennis backhand swing had the largest error, while the right hip joint in the tennis forward swing had the smallest. Several factors contributed to the errors, including occlusion, misestimation, and the capturing environment. Elbow and wrist joints often faced occlusion, leading to higher errors. To improve accuracy, we can adjust camera positions, enhance the capturing environment, and employ anthropometric fitting methods. Training the pose estimation model with biomechanical datasets can also help. Despite some limitations, human pose estimation holds great potential for motion capture in sports. It offers a more accessible and practical solution for kinematic analysis, paving the way for enhanced athletic performance and injury mitigation.